It's come that time of the month again where we round up the coolest game projects to hit Kickstarter. This February we have a bumper crop of seven, but before we get to them, let's recap our games from January. Overall, our five RPGs from January did pretty well. Project Resurgence, Chem Caper and Children of Zodiacs were all successful in reaching their funding goals. In particular, Zodiacs really thrived, smashing its target goal of 50,000 Canadian dollars by raising four times that amount. Dragon of Legends actually relaunched its campaign with a more modest target of 12,000 Canadian dollars. It has just reached it and now has over a month to hit some of its stretch goals. Lastly, Consortium the Tower was not funded. As of recording, the Kickstarter is still active, but with only hours left, it needs to raise another 300k to get to its lofty aim of 450. <laughs> Italian 1944 is a World War II multiplayer first-person shooter coming to PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Battalion recaptures the core of classic multiplayer shooters. Battalion 1944 proclaims itself as revitalizing the World War II genre and as a spiritual successor to the great multiplayer shooters of the past. It's an appeal to a time before Call of Duty went modern with its warfare and all of those who bemoan the change. It's an appeal to nostalgia, plain and simple. That may sound cynical, but it must also be acknowledged that this nostalgia is real and powerful, as evidenced by the £235,000 the game has raised so far. And it's hard not to admire how this project is uniting players through a shared nostalgia. Battalion 1944 is nothing new, but it does demonstrate the intangible charm of nostalgia. Operation Global Remedy has failed, and we are looking at a vast depletion of the Earth's resources. Deliver Us the Moon has you try and survive the gravity, lack of oxygen, bareness and loneliness of the moon. It sounds a bit like last year's The Martian, albeit on a natural satellite. But where The Martian is more of a tale of one man's struggle to survive and reconnect with a world so far away, Deliver Us the Moon is just about saving the world. It could be more than that, but so far, that's all it's told us. This is an episodic game by the way, with the first instalment coming in August. So the narrative needs to be good. Hopefully it's a bit bolder than what we think it is now. With its art and co-op centric gameplay, it's little surprise the two creators of Knights and Bikes used to work on Little Big Planet. The game is a story of childhood inspired by the likes of Earthbound. From the game's title to saving possessed adults by throwing frisbees at them, it really does capture that playfulness and wonder of childhood. It's a game with a big heart. It's down to two kids, two friends to save a tourist island because they're the only ones who believe in legends and magic. They construct their own bikes and ride all over the island with them, relishing their freedom and listening to their impulses. It's almost like a daydream from a more innocent, younger time. A time when we were kids. Overload is a six degrees of freedom shooter being made by the original creators of Descent the 90s series synonymous with popularising the Six Degrees genre. If you've been watching us for a while, you may know that Descent already got a reboot on Kickstarter. That project, funded last April, is called Descent Underground. It got the Descent licensing off of Interplay, but is being made by former Star Citizen devs with no direct connection to the franchise. With the original creators behind it, Overload seems more legitimate than Underground, but if it weren't for Underground's success, it's unlikely that we'd actually ever see Overload. It's a curious affair. But for it to continue, Overload will need to get funded. Pinstripe is an atmospheric side-scrolling adventure that reminds us of Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. But maybe we're just reading too much into the pinstripe suit connection. 
Pinstripe certainly seems gentler with its classical piano-led soundtrack. The composer responsible for it is Thomas Brush. However, Brush is not just the composer of Pinstripe. He's also the illustrator, the writer, and well, everything else. He's the sole developer. In three years, he's managed to create what you see before you, all whilst juggling college, freelancing, and starting a family. It's an incredible feat, a real labor of love, and with Pinstripe cracking its target goal almost instantly, it's safe to say his story has struck a chord with the masses too. Dehydration level critical. Administering nutrients. Planet Nomad has just successfully wrapped up its campaign before we recorded this video, raking in almost a hundred thousand pounds. It's quite noticeable that its colours and settings look a lot like those in No Man's Sky. It's also a sci-fi sandbox game with procedurally generated worlds, making us think this is no mere coincidence. Still, even if it's cashing in on No Man's hype, Planet Nomads does have some of its own ideas. This is best highlighted by the focus on engineering. Players will create vehicles and buildings out of blocks, and then utilize them for discovery and survival. Planet Nomads is sure to be an intriguing addition to the sandbox genre. Like most horror games, Visage contains supernatural themes, but by steeping them in the everyday, kind of like paranormal activity, it hits a different nerve. The trailer shows a remarkably authentic recreation of a suburban family home. From the tacky paintings on the wall to the fur on the coats in the closet, it feels incredibly real. But it's not where supernatural horror is supposed to be. It is, if you'll pardon the pun, too close to home. Also noticeable is the absence of dialogue, an often corny and misguided addition in the genre. Not to mention the pace is slow. Visage isn't interested in scaring you whenever possible, rather it's intent on the build up and absolutely terrifying you. That caps off the video, as always, thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indieformer. <laughs>